Water from the Gulf slowly creeps up the river. Here's what you need to know. As we've been saying, Lower Plaquemines Parish is the only area that's under a drinking water advisory. Everywhere else, the water is fine. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers is working to build up a cell in the river that it says will slow down the salt water. We'll get to a lot more on that update in just a minute. But for, for right now, the governor also requested or formally requested an emergency declaration for the state of Louisiana. It would free up federal money for mitigation projects. He called it crucial to help communities along the river. Now, one of those is St. Bernard Parish, which the salt water will reach next after Plaquemines. A meeting just wrapped up in Chalmette and Eleanor Tabone was there. Today, the St. Bernard Parish Council voted to amend an ordinance here in the parish to mitigate expected problems from the saltwater wedge. That money was initially allocated to Ida Recovery, but now they have $15 million to use for the saltwater intrusion. Parish President Guy McGuinness says this money is not coming out of the general fund, it's strictly Ida Recovery dollars. We have three areas. We're, we're building a reservoir where the core is going to bring in some uh, water, fresh water for us um, to use. We are looking at reverse osmosis units, um, and that's the most expensive um, part of it. We need as many of those as, as, as we can get. Um, they're hard to come by today. And connecting a line to the city um, to provide some uh, fresh water to the Araby area. The parish president is confident that the money used will be reimbursed by the federal government. In St. Bernard Parish, Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News.